What's up, sons? It's Blind Rod with Son of Attack once again, and today I have another episode of What's in the Box. I know it's been a while, we just haven't had that many products, but now we have some builds coming up. We have two builds, actually. One's going to be kind of a donation build for a Twitch streamer named Akasu Kitty. I think some of the parts in here will be going to that. She's a partner Dauntless streamer and has some really cool Twitch videos. Well, I guess just a really cool Twitch channel if you guys want to go check it out. Other than that, we have the QuakeCon build, the second one that we'll need to get ready. I will be taking Raven out there. If you guys haven't seen that, you can check it out up in the corner, which is a liquid cooled 2400G build. And other than that, that's pretty much what's going down. We can start opening some stuff up. I got some handy dandy scissors. I don't know what happened to the box cutter. I asked mama and she, she said she didn't know. And by mama, I mean baby mama. All right, so in here is one of the tools we'll need for Casu Kitty's build, actually. This is a rivet driver. This is gonna be used for putting the case back together, or Casu Kitty's project case back together when it comes back from paint. If you didn't see me drilling out the rivets and all that, if you want to see how I do that, I'll also put it up here in the corner for you guys to check out. And uh, I'll also link this down in the description in case you want to do it yourself. And then I can do a video on actually doing all that later on. Moving on. There we go. Ah, here are the lights we'll need, RGB LED strips for Cassie Kitty's build. I use these Fantex, they come with the converter by the way, I meant to tell you guys that. And they are magnetic and they just stick really easily and they're really easy to place and they, they I don't know, they're just the best all around for like price, convenience, and so on. And they do work really well of course with uh, Fantex cases. This one should be fun. I don't, I don't even know, I don't even have an idea of what's in this one. Ooh, okay. Here's another piece to cast the kitty's build. Here is the 550 watt EBGA B3 power supply. I don't remember if this is fully, yes, this is a fully modular power supply and it's bronze rated, not gold rated, but it's a fantastic power supply. Highly recommend it. If, uh, if you're looking for something, you know, that's not like super high end, it'll get the job done. However, it is also modular so we can keep all the cables as clean as possible. I think I know what this is. Yeah, so, oh, we did get the seven. I thought we got the eight. So I did get the $30 one. This is the, Fire 7 Pro HD or whatever, not Pro, Fire 7, just a base, base Fire 7, 8 gig tablet. If you guys need something for your kids, this is the second one that we have now, two kids, so obviously that's the reason why we have it there. But uh, all this will be linked in the description below. This stuff over here is super awesome. Antec sent this over and I appreciate it very much. This is to help out with the QuakeCon build. Obviously, we won't be entering our PC into the competition because you have to buy all your own parts, but it will be at BYOC. But just to give you an idea, that's kind of how that rolls. This is beastly. Holy smokes. So I knew they were sending over a power supply, but I had no idea that the box was going to be this big. Oh, wow. So this is the HCG series from Antec. It's a massive box. And uh, to give you guys an idea, it's the HCG 850 Extreme. It is, I believe, fully modular. Let me double check that. Yeah, fully modular design. And what's the rating? We are 80 gold plus on this power supply. 92% uh, max efficiency. That's going to be about it. It does have a hybrid mode, so it should be near silence. Unless, of course, the load goes above a certain level, which I guess we could try to test at some point at when the fans kick on. 
This is gonna be plenty to power the Ryzen 7 2700 along with the GTX 1080 Ti and the custom cooling that we're gonna be putting with it. That is, I love that box though. High current gamer. Oh, badass, okay. So we are gonna go ahead and unbox this. I, I guess you guys can see what this is already. This is the P6 from Antec and it is a micro ATX case. So it'll support mini ITX and micro ATX motherboards. It's a little bit smaller form factor. We'll pull it out and kind of get a general idea of what it is. Of course, stay tuned, hit the subscription for of course all of the builds that all of these parts are gonna be going into as well as individual case review for this case uh, because I'm not gonna be able to cover it all here and I won't have built in it yet. Okay. So I don't even know if this is tempered glass. I actually requested another case that they apparently only sell in the UK. And so she's like, we just released this case. I have no, I have no idea about this case. I don't know what it has. It actually makes it more exciting for me. So I usually get used to seeing all of the cases before ever grabbing one myself. It's got some heft to it. It's like a mid tower size, I would say. Yeah, I'd say this is about mid tower. Uh, it's got the fan filter at the top here, which will probably get removed in our case, but you do got one, basically. Looks like there's a front fan filter that fell down. We do have tempered glass, but this is actually not the tinted tempered, which I prefer. Um, because it's already dark enough and getting lighting right and the rest of them is pretty rough. I am going to have to throw the mini ITX motherboard in here and see if it'll really fill it out. I think once we get everything in here, we'll be able to tell. It does support mounting. Is that one mount? No, okay. We'll have to see, actually. Because it looks like this swaps out interestingly enough. I think you can actually put a GPU in vertically, which actually is, would be exactly what we'd want to do. Lots of basement space, tons of space. Um, I don't think we'll be able to fit a 360 millimeter rad in the top, but we'll sure. Actually, you probably can because you're going to do a 240 in the front. Let me look at that. I'm getting an idea of what I need to order for, for radiators. 240 in the front, so because of that though, I think there actually ends up being room in the top. I'm not gonna lie. I think we could probably mount a radiator in the top because the 240 ends here because it actually still has a cutout for a three and a half bay drive right there in the front, but it's not used. So I think whatever case design they started to go with or decided to go with um, was after the fact there. Another interesting thing about it is that it's a, well, it's the front. That's a super clean design. I like it. That is a super clean design. We will have to do a full review of this for sure. I actually really like the front of that too. I haven't decided on a theme for this build yet. So if you guys have an idea, let me know. Maybe a little bigger than I would, I was originally anticipating to go with, but you know, I think we'll fill it out quite well with some water cooling. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite unboxed item was down in the comment section below. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for future videos as uh, it appears that that's really hard to keep your sub box in line. If you guys notice your sub box doesn't seem right, mine doesn't. Something's broke there. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed once again and I'll see you next Tuesday.